Welcome back to the Electrician's 2 channel. Today we have on the bench is the Hayoki 3801 Digital High Tester. Now, I know you may be looking at this video and saying, didn't he do a review on his multimeter before? In some way, I guess if you're looking at it, you'll think that. But no, I haven't. This is the first video, first video review I've done of this multimeter. Now, I have two other multimeters that uh, look just like this. Same everything, but they are made put out by two different other manufacturers. One of them is BK Precision, and I think that's the 2890, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I've done a video on that one. You go check that out. And also, I uh, have one, uh, and there's another meter I have by Etch Tech. And I think that's a 3802 uh, multi scope multimeter. Now, the difference between the three is the Etch Tech uh, doesn't have a backlight. And around the case here is it's 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 not blue like not bluish gray like this one it's gray the bk precision it's the same identical looking one here um but the uh the backlight uh the backlight on the bk precision is it's like blue uh bluish looking in color now uh there are some difference in the features as well the BK Precision uh, has a lot of features that this one doesn't have, as well as the one that um, the one that the uh, Etch Tech uh, version of this meter doesn't have. Out of the three, which one I would prefer, and one day I just might put them on the video together just to explain what I'm doing right now. Uh, which one I would prefer out of the three would be the BK uh, BK, Preci BK Precision. Excuse me because it has a lot of more features than either this one or the Etch Tech. As far as the build quality of them all, they're all three of them are high quality. They're solid, real nice and heavy uh, multimeters. Again, I do not know who, who, uh, what company makes this multimeter and um, you know, sells them to other companies for, you know, so they can put their names on them. I don't know. Uh, oftentimes, um, uh, my YouTube buddy, uh, his channel is called Three Phase. He, uh, for some reason, he knows it, um, and he, uh, I guess, he, uh, BK. I mean, TP. If you're listening, uh, um, tell me who's the maker of this multimeter, the main company, and uh, just leave it in the comments, and I appreciate it. Anyway, um, this, this, all three multimeters are really nice. It's just that out of the three, I would prefer the uh, the BK BK Precision version of them. Now this multimeter, it was it hit the market in 2004, and uh, it has since been discontinued by Hayoki. Also, they don't make them. BK Precision has discontinued their model, as well as as well as Etch Tech has discontinued their model. But I'm here to say that if you were to ever run across one of these meters, uh, uh, and, and for a good price and is in good shape, I wouldn't hesitate on purchasing it. These are really nice multimeters. Uh, they're very accurate. They're not as fast as far as loading up or showing uh, whatever you're testing as quick as the multimeters of the day. And it wouldn't be fair to compare that one against uh, as far as the speed, like a uh, fluke or whatever. But as far as the quality build, Yes, it's, this is a very decent multimeter. Uh, uh, as far as the features are concerned, very decent. Now, um, I'm going to look at, uh, uh, put the camera up close so you can look at some of the features that's displayed on the front around a dial. Okay, so it has volts, AC, well, let's take it from the bottom here. So you can see some of that, okay? And uh, part in the noise that you hear in the back, that's, uh, it's kind of windy outside and it's rubbing up against the shed here. But anyway, um, 
You see that? Also, take a look at some of the features here. You have volts AC, volts DC, and volts AC DC. It's automatic. It chooses which one that whatever one you want to put it on. It chooses it for you. Same as the millivolts AC DC. Uh, uh, the next feature will be resistance, continuity. The next feature would be hertz, diode. Uh, I don't know what the next one would be. But I think this is like a continuity also. I'm not sure. I have to look in the manual what the one that under hertz right here would be. I know that's diode, hertz, and the continuity symbol. But anyway, the next one would be capacitance. The next one would be microamps, AC, DC. The next one up below that would be milliamps and amps, AC, DC. And below that would be temperature. Above that, the soft keys, you see the shift button and the peak uh, button. It has a min max. I can show you that right quick how that looks. Min max. Min max average. Um, the next button will be rail. That will zero it out. That's really nice. Uh, and the next one will be the range button where we want to put the decimal, decimal right here. And um, above that, the next to that will be dual screen. If you want to, let me get out of this right quick. And um, wait, wait. There you go, it's dual screen. And if you want to put the Hertz right here, Okay, AC, Hertz, and it's a very nice meter, very nice meter. And um, the test leads, let me get back to that, let me back out some. Down. The test leads are very high quality, um, very nice. They're, they're, they're not made out of that stiff PVC, this is more like a high quality silicone and um, it's really nice. Now, um, and then we'll cut, these are all the things that comes with it. That's the box, that's the user manual, the test leads, and the meter. It takes a nine volt battery also. Now, um, again, this is a very nice meter. I don't have anything bad to say about it whatsoever. Uh, I know some guys are, you know, are some you know, people have been in the field or just coming in the field, you hooked on um, you hooked on the flukes, and guess what? And you have every right to do so and be hooked on the flukes because flukes are some nice meters. But I hate to be stuck in that box all the time and just uh, just thinking that's the only thing out there that's good. Fluke get a lot of fluke get a lot of credit, but sometimes fluke give you some uh, deserve some discredit also on some things that they put out. Uh, now, again. Um, if you run across this meter, guys, I wouldn't hesitate to get it. Um, they have a real, a real uh, high quality protective boot that's going around this gray boot right here. On the back, they have uh, ports to, for you to put your test leads in to put, when they're not in use. Um, let me see. And. Um, See what else I can tell you about it that I haven't said already. Um, and I already said about the force of backlight. The backlight looks really bright. Now the numeric font, it's, 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 it's nice, it's in a very nice size. You can see the screen clearly. I'm gonna turn the light, uh, you can see the screen clearly. The black light looks brighter than it is in, in person. Uh, it looks brighter on camera than it does in person. Uh, but you can see it in person, it's, it's, it's bright enough in, in, in person also. Um, so that's all I have to say about this meter. You know, I hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed the video. Um, if you, if and you know what to do, if you like the video or you want to support the channel, leave the comment, hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell that's right next to it. That way you'll be in rotation of all of my past videos and my future videos. Uh, if you know someone else there who would uh, benefit from looking at this video, share it. And all that, all of that is for free. So uh, in the meantime, guys, you take care. 
Enjoy your day. And until next time, we'll meet right here for another video. You guys take care. Later.